ever noticed how all humans are different? Sure, we all have a nose and two eyes and arms and legs, but no two humans, unless you consider identical twins, are identical. The variation we observe in our group and in other sexually reproducing organisms is due in great part to meiosis, the process by which sperm and eggs or gametes are made. Genetic diversity is thought to increase the chances for survival in a changing environment. Let's look at the specific steps during meiosis in which this type of variation is introduced. Gregor Mendel, the father of modern genetics, proposed the law of independent assortment after carrying out crosses in which he followed the inheritance of two characteristics at once. Mendel observed that the inheritance of alleles for one character was independent of the inheritance of alleles for a different character. Even though Mendel didn't know about meiosis, today we can explain his law in terms of how chromosomes behave during meiosis. For example, let's consider the characteristics of seed shape and seed color. We'll assign seed shape the letter R and seed color the letter Y. For seed shape, the trait round is dominant to wrinkled, and for seed color, the trait yellow is dominant to green. If you cross two parent plants that are heterozygous at each of these two genes, there will be 16 possible gamete combinations. Let's see why this is. Each parent can make four different types of gametes in equal proportions due to independent assortment. Each chromosomal arrangement during metaphase one results in two types of gametes. And because there are two possible arrangements, which are both just as likely to occur, we have a total of four possible gametes from each parent. Any one gamete from one of the parents can fertilize any one of the gametes from the other parent, giving us a total of 16 possible combinations. Humans with 23 pairs of chromosomes can make over 8 million possible gamete combinations due to independent assortment alone. But there's another way in which variation can be introduced during meiosis by the process of crossing over. Unlike independent assortment, which happens during metaphase 1 of meiosis, crossing over takes place during prophase 1 of meiosis. Chromosomal crossing over is the exchange of corresponding segments between the paternal and maternal chromatids of homologous chromosomes. These chromatids physically cross over and DNA is exchanged between them. Crossing over an independent assortment of chromosomes ensures that no two gametes you make will ever be the same.